Hey everybody, I'm Tom LeBlanc, editor of Commercial Integrator. I'm lucky to be joined today by Tim Phillips, president of Aletho Technologies out in Southern California. Tim, thanks for being with me. Uh, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Sure. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about uh, a product by OpenMesh, the G200 router. And I want to get your um, I want to get your thoughts on the product because I know you've had a chance to spend some time with it, Tim. But maybe just for context's sake, can you tell the audience a little bit about your company and what you guys do? Yeah, we focus on um, open mesh installations, and we we work a lot in the multifamily space. But we've worked in a couple of different areas as well. Um, we've done a lot of uh, hotels and those kinds of things as well. And uh, we've also done. Um, we, we found that this is a, a really good product for a couple other other industries as well. And we really think it would be a good match for the AV space as well because of uh, its simplicity. And we just think it's it's really good. But what we focus on is a lot of the areas where, uh, where it would be good for complex installs but have a simple solution. So that's kind of where, where we focus on. I see. So, yeah, let's talk a little bit about the Open Mesh uh, G200 because you did get a chance to spend some time with it and it's a brand new product. And I wanted you to help the audience a little bit by telling us a little bit about it, what it is, and also, as you kind of alluded to, how you think it'll help your customers and also, you know, just in general, AV customers. Yeah, I think it's 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 a really good product, and uh, I have spent some time with it and uh, was checking it out and making sure that it uh, had all the bells and whistles I needed for my purposes. And uh, it it seems to meet most things that I need really well, and I think it'd be really good in the in the AV space as well. Um, what I really like about it is that it's an end to end solution. So instead of it being um, where you, you have like this device to do this thing and this other device to do this other thing. You have one device that kind of encompasses it. Um, and from the router standpoint, it's able to, to do everything in a really clean, simple package. So what I enjoyed about it and making sure that um, it was able to deliver on this was its, its CloudTracks portal, which is the management side of, of, the, of the router. So it's a website and it's not the website, it's not a website on the router, it's, it's just a normal website that you log in, configure, and then it pushes out the configuration to the router. But what makes that simple or, or so great is that I don't have to like memorize IP addresses and figure out how to get into specific devices. It's just one pane of glass and I can see all of them and push out configurations everywhere. So it's really kind of straightforward. And what, we, what I like about that in the AV space is you don't, it's, it kind of allows you to do networking without having to be a networking expert. And I like it because I am a networking expert, but then it makes my job easier. So that's kind of what I was really taking away when I was, uh, when I was looking at it in my, uh, my first introduction to it. I'm glad you mentioned the end-to-end -end networking aspect of it because, you know, from talking to the folks at Open Mesh and, you know, reading the materials about the product, they really kind of hammer that that benefit home. And, you know, you had kind of mentioned, you know, like you're a networking expert and, you know, it, this is also great for AV guys. Can you maybe just kind of like real simply, you know, kind of kind of encapsulate why why is that end-to-end -end networking solution aspect of it such a a key benefit that AV integrators should appreciate. Well, a lot of times you you work when you work with different um, products from different multiple companies to do, to do one solution. It can be a little tricky because the terminology will be different. Like somebody will say, um, "You you need to work on this protocol," and then this other solution will say, "We have a proprietary protocol," and then they don't work together because. One of the key parts about this router is that it's it's a part of um, the open mesh ecosystem. So they also have access points that work just right along with this router. Um, so what's nice is you get both of those solutions together and you have a single pane of glass, just one website, one login, and it's all right there. So you're able to get granular control and switches as well. So switches are, are what connect um, your networking devices together and routers are what connect them to the internet on the, the most basic level. And then access points create wireless networks. But what's great, what OpenMesh is doing is, is they're mashing that all together. They are different devices for your different needs, but they're all in one 
package. So you go just go to Cloud Tracks, configure it all together, and it's all right there, and it's really, really straightforward. And that's that's like the biggest point that I like to make is that this is something that you can put together and see everything in one spot, and it just works together because it's all from one solution. Okay. Well, thinking a little bit about the commercial integrator audience, you know, these are folks who install AV and and IT and security, you know, lots of different types of technology solutions in commercial environments, which include like corporate customers, healthcare, uh, mission critical solutions, and hospitality solutions. Thinking about this open mesh solution, what, what are the types of applications and customers that you see these, you know, being a, a big benefit or a big fit for? Well, any customer that doesn't have Wi Fi but needs one. Because what's nice about this is it scales really well. So if you have, um, if you have an installation where you just need a little bit of a, a little Wi-Fi in one area, and then um, at, over time it grows, it's really easy to expand that. It's not like, oh shoot, I got to get rid of my existing investment and then buy a new investment. You can just add to it and expand it. And the other neat thing is, um, Open Mesh has really, really gotten um, done really well in the in the wireless space so if you need if you have a like an industrial application in the sense that or even a medical where you need really reliable wi-fi that's something they're very very good at and so you can even you can work with them and figure out like what's the best install best hardware to get for their uh for your install and that's something that we do as well and we've worked really closely with them and found out that their solutions work really, really well in those kind of spaces. Like conference rooms is a great example. Um, you know, most businesses have conference rooms, large, really big venues and really small venues, and their their products work really well for that because of um, how they do multipathing and deal with uh, with large spaces and whatnot. But also, it's really good in uh, very congested uh, buildings as well because you can throttle the the radio strength to make it work better for. Uh, for more condensed networks. So Tim, you kind of alluded to it a couple times, like it being pretty user friendly for you as an installer, uh, or you know somebody who's setting it up for a customer. But you know, just for our audience's sake, you know, I, I like to ask people how difficult or easy you know a product is to set up and install, and and just really just anything that you think installers would want to know before they work with the product. Does anything spring to mind? Yes, yes, it does. Uh, it kind of you can set them up in a set up these networks in a couple of different ways, um, which and it, what's nice about that is you can kind of come at it from the approach that works for you. Um, for in terms of simplicity, so you you get your device, whether it's a, a switch, an access point, or this new router, and it has has a code. It's called a MAC address, and what you do is you put that code in Cloud Tracks, and then it configures it. I mean, really, it's that simple. Now, the beauty of it is that you can do that a couple different ways. You can go to the website, grab your router, look at the serial number or the MAC address, type it in, and you're good to go. Or you can use your iPhone or Android with the app that they have and scan in the code or the barcode, and it loads it right into the CloudTracks portal for you. So it's, it's none of this like, oh, I need to log on to the device and then connect it to the system or anything like that. It's just a code. I mean, it really, I'm not, it's that simple. You take the code, you put it on the website, you connect the device to internet, just plug it in, and then they communicate and figures it out. So, I mean, if you're running around with your iPhone or your Android tablet or phone and you want to set up your network, it's really easy. You just scan in the devices and then it loads it into your network for you. So if you need something fast, like you're, you're, for some reason, you're, you're, you know, the, the boss says, hey, I need you to set up wireless by this afternoon because we have a group coming in for this thing. You're, and this is like I, one that's super, super easy to do because you just load it in and they configure themselves. You don't have to configure each access point or each router or each switch. You just can add them to the system, configure it on the system, and then on the cloud tracks, that is, and then it pushes it out to all the devices. So it's okay. it's... It's one to many instead of one to one. Is a good way to look at it. Okay. Well, let's let's try to kind of sum it up a little bit with a, a couple of things that I like to ask about. You know, new products and you know an installer that's worked with it, and maybe you know there's a lot of folks in the audience who haven't worked with it. Um, well, can you name any? You, how would you sum up the biggest benefits of the products? Like, if you were to name like one or two or three of the biggest benefits, what what would be your sound bites? 
honestly, simplicity is one of the biggest. It's it's not it's not confusing. It's very straightforward. It's it's very people friendly. You know, it, it, you know, a lot of times there's devices out there that you you kind of need like a degree to figure out in that particular field. It seems, but this this one, it, th these devices are very simple and straightforward in what they do. But then at the same time, they're very feature rich. They have everything you need right there at a click of a button. And then the last thing that's really important is cost. That's one of the things that really um, got me connected with them in the first place was that they weren't cost prohibitive. They're, they're a really good deal, especially for what you get. And on top of that, the um, simplicity. So you, sometimes when you hear simplicity, you think, oh, it's not going to have what I need. But it, it, it does. And having those that trifecta is really important. And I feel like um, these products really meet that, the simplicity, being feature rich, and then being cost effective. OK. Well, on the flip side, any negatives that you want to call out? Um, the only thing I can think of at this time is that they are working on some new extra features on the router side. They've done a fantastic job on the Wi-Fi and a fantastic job on the switches. The router just had a few couple tweaks that I was working on when I got I got it in beta. And I, so I was working on it in beta and I noticed a couple very, very granular features because I'm a networking guy. So I have to ask those questions because I get super granular in the things that I do. And what was neat is uh, they were already working on them and they're already on the product roadmap and they're already getting those done. But there's just a couple of little tweaks there that I was looking at. Very cool. Anything you'd want to say just in sort of wrapping it up? Anything you just want to make sure that our audience knows about the uh, OpenMesh G200? One of the one of the things that's been a, a big deal for me is you can pre-configure or pre-provision these devices. So remember how I told you it has the MAC address and you just grab that, put it in the system? So there have been times where I've had a client call me from really far away, like states away, and they're like, hey, I need you, but I mean, am I too far? And honestly, they're not, because what I do is I, I am, and OpenMesh is, fully supports this. You take those, those uh, MAC addresses, you put them in the system, and then you never even, you don't even have to turn on the device. You just put it in the system, and then you mail it to the client, and then they can install it. And then you do all your configuring remotely. And so that's a real game changer for me, because if I have to go out on site, you know, a couple states away, that can be a problem. But to be able to pre-provision it and pre-configure it, before I even get there, or if I don't even get there, is a is a really big deal. So we've really liked that. They check in right by default, right off the bat. So, and the last thing is, it's a complete package with a single pane of glass. You go to one website, and it's got everything right there. And the app does the same thing in it too. So it's it's really good. Well, Tim Phillips, president of the Letho Technologies in Southern California, thanks for talking to us about the OpenMesh G two hundred router. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.